Hi, uh, welcome to Zach's Tractors. Uh, in this channel, we're going to be like looking at places that have a lot of tractors, like dealerships and stuff, and just showing them off. Uh, we're currently at J. Charlie and Sons, and at Cormick and Leyland Humor. Very nice place. So, um, they have the yard over there, and a museum full of restored tractors. This is the only McCormick in the museum, actually, which is surprising because they are a McCormick dealer. That's touching the Leyland, isn't it? Weird. And actually, this is really interesting because this tractor, I know why it's in the museum, it's the last tractor, McCormick tractor, ever built in England at Doncaster. It's the 435,836th tractor ever made in England by McCormick. But then they moved to Italy and Argo Tractors then bought them and Argo Tractors also bought Landini and now McCormick's and Landini's are virtually the same tractor, except one's blue, one's red. Wheel weights on them. Come round to the hitch. Got your three linkage arms. PTO there. I'm not going to touch that because it's probably very greasy. And then you've got, what's that, uh, three sets of spools? Yeah, three, three rear sets. And does it have a front linkage? Yes, it does. Oh, no, 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 it doesn't. I was looking at the back as if Leyland. Right, so... That's the XTX215. This is a Leyland 344, ordinary tractor, but Jay Charmley has cut the side of the engine off so you can actually see the inside of the engine. You can see the pistons there, all the cooling equipment. It's a really good idea, I think. That's good. So, yeah. That's the inside of the engine to a Leyland 344. On this side, am I going to be able to fit through here? No, I can't. This place is so... Dad, I'm stuck on this side. <laughs> yeah, I have to go all the way to the front of the museum to get around. And now, oh gosh, I'm stuck here now. Right, here we go. And here's the other side of the engine to the 344. That was quite long winter, wasn't it? That's cool, isn't it? Not only that, but I'm gonna have to go around again. Cut the side of the gearbox off so you can see the gearbox. That's cool, isn't it? And there's no gear stick, obviously. Oh, oh yeah! So that connects there, and then all this stuff turns and does its business, and you're in second gear. And then you do it again, and you're in third. Here is half a tractor. 
Wanna see what I mean? Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Right, there we go. <laughs> Dad, come here. This is the inside of a Leyland 364, I think it is. Come around here, step over the wheel, Dad. I won't get you on camera. I just don't want to go up Yeah, it's really cool. Now you know what the complete inside of a tractor looks like. There's a... Just an engine here from a Nuffy. I'm guessing it's a Nuffy. It's red. McCormick's are red, but McCormick's have wow, bigger engines than that. Oh, there's another cutaway tra uh, tractor here. Cutaway gearbox and. In fact, this doesn't even have a fender, but that does. <laughs> That's weird. In fact, a lot's missing from this side. It hasn't got the step, has it? <laughs> That's weird. Right, let's see On this side, it's a completely no. Oh no, it's not. Oh no, it's not. It's cut away on this side. That's close. Nuffield 60 here. Oh, well, there's a bit of calling going out there. Oh, Nuffield 1060. Sorry, it was scraped away. That's cool. Fairly sure that's not a tractor. Big Nuffield Universal here, that's really cool. Well, when I say big, it's big for a tractor this old. That. I swear that's bigger than the steering wheel was. The, the average steering wheel was that day. Gear stick. That's not very smooth to operate. I will say, but yeah, nice tractor, I think. I like it at least. I quite like these nuffy old tractors. This one's covered up, but I'm guessing it's a 460 or something. Looks kind of like that. Oh, no. Slightly older than that, actually. Hmm. Not sure. It's missing a headlight again. Look at the back. Headlight one, headlight... Zero. What's that? Exactly the same, but bigger. 425, 34. Oh no, it's not the same. I thought this was a 440. No, I thought this was a 245. No. Ah. I'm going bonkers. This one looks slightly older. Da, 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 da. Duh. 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 <laughs> oh, this is World Cup as well. Oh, that's similar to that cab one, isn't it? Well, when I say cab, place you sit to operate. It's not exactly a cab, is it? This one's quite big. This is a 465. 
like it. Oh, that look. That looks like a slightly better cow. The other ones are all right, but this looks like a nicer place to be seven hours a day, maybe longer. In fact, yeah, often a lot longer. A McCormick Diamond Edition. I love these. I've always wanted to see one of these. It's got a certificate. Well done, McCormick. Silver. That's cool, isn't it? I like Diamond Edition McCormick's.